The ancient pyramids, particularly those of Egypt, stand as some of the most iconic and mysterious architectural feats in human history. While many associate these grand monuments with the pharaohs of Egypt, pyramids were constructed in various parts of the world, including in Mesoamerica, Sudan, and China. Though Egypt's pyramids remain the most famous, these structures serve as symbols of the technological ingenuity, religious fervor, and political power of the civilizations that constructed them. The fascination with pyramids has endured for millennia, owing to the mysteries surrounding their construction, their symbolic significance, and the stories of the rulers buried within. The history of pyramid construction dates back thousands of years, particularly in ancient Egypt, where the most famous pyramids were built during the Old Kingdom, circa 2686 to 2181 BCE. The Pyramid of Djoser, constructed in the 27th century BCE, marks the earliest pyramid, a step pyramid designed by the architect Imhotep. This structure was an evolution from earlier burial practices, where kings were buried beneath flat-topped rectangular structures called mastabas. Imhotep's design, stacking six mastaba-like layers on top of each other, was the first significant attempt at a monumental stone structure and symbolized the pharaoh's divine connection to the gods, representing a stairway to the heavens. The greatest of the pyramids, however, were built during the Fourth Dynasty, with the Giza pyramids, especially the Great Pyramid of Giza, becoming emblematic of Egyptian civilization. Constructed for Pharaoh Khufu, also known as Cheops, around 2580 to 2560 BCE, the Great Pyramid originally stood at 146.6 meters, 481 feet, making it the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 3,800 years. The precision with which it was constructed, aligned almost perfectly with the cardinal points of the compass and using massive limestone and granite blocks, has captivated engineers and historians alike. The pyramids of Khafra and Menkaura, Khufu's successors, alongside the Great Pyramid, form the iconic trio at Giza. The construction of these pyramids involved tens of thousands of workers, likely a combination of skilled laborers, farmers during the flood season, and possibly slaves, though modern research suggests that the majority of workers were compensated for their labor. The sheer size and scale of these projects required advanced logistics, including quarrying, transporting, and placing millions of blocks of stone. The purpose of the pyramids was primarily religious and funerary. Pharaohs were considered divine beings, intermediaries between the gods and the people. The pyramid served not only as a tomb for the ruler, but also as a testament to their godlike status and as a symbol of their journey into the afterlife. The Egyptians believed in an elaborate afterlife, and the pyramid was designed to ensure the deceased pharaoh's safe passage to the realm of the gods. This journey was facilitated through various rituals and practices, including mummification, which preserved the pharaoh's body for the afterlife. Inside the pyramids, elaborate burial chambers were often adorned with carvings and filled with treasures and everyday items, all believed to be necessary for the king in the afterlife. The Pyramid Texts, a collection of ancient religious texts inscribed within the burial chambers, are among the earliest religious writings in the world and provide insight into the Egyptians' beliefs about death and the afterlife. Beyond their funerary role, pyramids were also political symbols, demonstrating the pharaoh's power and control over resources and labor. The construction of a pyramid required not only the coordination of thousands of workers, but also the ability to marshal resources from across Egypt and beyond. The successful completion of such a project solidified the pharaoh's status as a god-king and cemented their legacy for generations. Pharaohs who managed to build large, successful pyramids were often remembered with reverence, while those who could not afford such monumental tombs were sometimes forgotten. Although Egypt's pyramids are the most well-known, other ancient civilizations also constructed pyramids, albeit for different reasons and in different forms. In Mesoamerica, civilizations such as the Maya and the Aztecs built pyramids as well, 
though theirs were typically step pyramids rather than smooth-sided like the Egyptian ones. The Pyramid of the Sun, constructed by the Teotihuacan civilization in modern-day Mexico, is one of the largest pyramids in the world. These pyramids were typically used for religious purposes, often as platforms for temples where priests would conduct sacrifices and other religious ceremonies. In contrast to Egyptian pyramids, which were primarily tombs, Mesoamerican pyramids were more often sites of ongoing religious activity. Despite extensive archaeological research, many mysteries continue to surround the pyramids, particularly the Egyptian ones. One of the most enduring questions relates to their construction. How ancient builders were able to quarry, transport, and assemble the massive stone blocks remains a topic of debate. Various theories have been proposed over the years, from the use of simple ramps to more complex systems of pulleys and levers. The precision of the stone cutting and the alignment of the pyramids with astronomical phenomena, such as the stars of Orion's belt, add another layer of intrigue. Some fringe theories suggest that advanced technologies, possibly even extraterrestrial intervention, were involved in their construction, though mainstream archaeology dismisses these ideas. Another mystery relates to the occupants of the pyramids. While the Great Pyramid of Giza is traditionally believed to have been the tomb of Pharaoh Khufu, no mummy was found within the pyramid when it was first entered by explorers. This has led to speculation about whether Khufu was indeed buried there, whether his remains were stolen or lost over the millennia, or whether the pyramid had a different function altogether. Similar questions surround the other pyramids at Giza, though they have yielded more direct evidence of burials, including the tomb of Pharaoh Menkore. There are also numerous tales of curses associated with the pyramids, particularly the supposed Curse of the Pharaohs, which is said to bring misfortune to those who disturb the tombs of the kings. This legend gained widespread attention in the early 20th century following the discovery of King Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922 by British archaeologist Howard Carter. After the tomb's discovery, several members of Carter's team, including his patron, Lord Carnarvon, died under mysterious circumstances, fueling rumors of a curse. However, most historians and scientists attribute these deaths to more mundane causes, such as infections or pre-existing health conditions. In addition to these more famous mysteries, the pyramids continue to offer new insights into the civilization that built them. Ongoing archaeological work in Egypt, particularly in areas surrounding the pyramids, has uncovered new information about the workers who built these monuments. Contrary to earlier beliefs that the pyramids were built by slaves, Evidence now suggests that many of the laborers were paid workers who lived in nearby workers' villages, complete with homes, bakeries, breweries, and medical facilities. This paints a picture of pyramid construction as a highly organized and communal effort, one that involved not just brute labor, but also skilled craftsmanship and sophisticated logistics. Over time, the pyramids themselves have undergone various stages of decay and restoration. Originally, the pyramids were covered in smooth casing stones made of highly polished Tura limestone, which would have gleamed in the sunlight, making them even more imposing and visible from miles away. However, most of these casing stones were removed over the centuries, particularly during the Middle Ages, when they were repurposed for building projects in Cairo. What remains today are the core structures, which have weathered the passage of time remarkably well, though they have been affected by erosion, earthquakes, and human activity.